One day, you're going to look around and you're going to realize that everybody loves you, but nobody likes you. And that is the loneliest feeling in the world. I admit it, another hole got me finished, broke my heart, oh no you didn't. Okay, uh, welcome back everyone. Today, we're continuing a series that we stopped right when the play on, right when the playing started. My 10 favorite players from every team. Now, we did about um, nearly half the league. Uh, we stopped at the New York Islanders, which is pretty ironic. I don't know why the heck we stopped there. But, um, you know. Um, we're going to move on to the New Jersey Devils now, going in reverse order. Um, we will start up uh, more series as well as the week progress. Uh, we'll probably do these weekly, since I don't really have anything scheduled for Monday. And maybe we'll do hockey care collections on Mondays as well. Depends. So, you know, the hockey care collection videos do get a lot of views. So, I'm going to try those out again. And, um, so yeah, there you go. And I do have some more hockey cards coming in through an order. So, you know, get ready for some uh, good content this week. So, my top 10 favorite New Jersey Devils. Now, I definitely put a lot of thought into this. Um... Because the Devils are a team that, I, that I've that i watched a lot. You know, well, I've watched more hockey this season than I have in the past two years. So I've watched a lot of New Jersey Devils hockey. And, you know, I've had fandom for a lot of these guys before. I even started watching the Devils fandom. And, you know, it's going to be a, um, a, pretty fun a pretty fun list to go through here. So who is not on the list? And now I'm going to add in the new editing software and all that good stuff. So, you know, this could take this... It may look a bit weird at first with the editing because we haven't edited in like 10 years. But, um, you know, take this with what you will. Let's get into it. So, who is not on the list? I don't have I don't have P.K. Subban on the list. Subban will likely never be on the list, to be honest. Um, Subban, Subban kind of got into the, like, he kind of got, like, taken out of hockey and put into the media type of stuff, which is one thing that I have definitely noticed with him. So, yeah. P.K. Subban is not on the list and likely won't ever be on the list. Uh, Jack Hughes is not on the list either. I don't think I, I don't think anyone would expect that, even though he has since he hasn't played um in a uh, in a while. And you know, with him, he disappointed me this season. I made multiple videos on Jack Hughes and how much he's made me mad this season. So take that what you will. Um, honorable mentions. I really don't have like um. I had like a not on the list because those guys are like wouldn't make the list even if the honorable even if I had like top twenty, and um, these are honorable mentions for guys that just couldn't get into the list. Uh, Miles Wood, I liked Miles Wood as a defenseman. Uh, Stefan Nuason, uh, Michael Grabner, that's from the Arizona relation, and uh, Nikita Gusev, who will likely be on the list next year or two years from now, whenever I do this. So, you know, take that what you will. Again, I think. Gusev is a very enjoyable player to watch. I enjoyed watching him in the KHL for a while. And uh, I'm excited to see what he can do in the NHL next season. Uh, number 10. Number 10, I have Wayne Simmons. So Wayne Simmons, to surprise literally no one, I have Wayne Simmons at number 10. I mean, the Flyers relations there, but I also enjoyed him in there. I also enjoyed watching him play in New Jersey for the amount of time that he did. I know he's in Toronto now. Went to Buffalo in the trade deadline. But he did play, he did play a lot of games for the Devils. I enjoyed him there. I think that he played... Pretty well. He just got traded. He just got dealt the deadline because he didn't live up to the devil's expectations. So you know, Simmons was always an enjoyable guy to watch, and I'm gonna I'm gonna really enjoy him in Toronto. Uh, number nine is Jesper Bratt. I really enjoyed Des Jesper Bratt as a defenseman, mostly because of his name. His name was a very his name was entertaining, and you know he was. I'm gonna say this a lot for a lot of guys. This guy was very noticeable to watch. You can noticeably see this guy out on the ice a lot. Uh, number eight is Travis Zajac. Uh, Travis Zajac, great veteran there. I like watching him. He's very noticeable, and he's all in all a good defensive for the Devils. I think he's pretty. He's a he's a he's a, he's a decently underrated guy too. And you know, heading into a new era with the Devils, I think that he's going to play well. Uh, number seven is Taylor Hall. He would be higher if he was with the Devils right now, but I uh, know he decided to go sign with the Buffalo Sabers. Um, Taylor Hall at seventh. I enjoyed Taylor Hall in New Jersey. I thought he would. I thought he played very well, even though the trade, that, even though the way he got there was ridiculous. By the way, thank you, Edmonton. Um, you know, I think Taylor Hall played played very well in New Jersey. He was probably their best player for like the past two years. 
uh, two, three years. You could argue Paul Marion there as well, but we'll get into him in a second. Uh, number six is Brian Boyle. Now, I'm going to add in a little bit of a cancer relation here. Uh, my stepmother had cancer, so, you know, Brian Boyle, you know, with him in Hockey Fights Cancer, he was a very noticeable, very, I respected him a lot, and um, no matter where he went, I always kept an eye on him, I always watched him. Currently, I don't think he has a team, I don't think he does, I think the last last team he played for was the Florida Panthers, you know, he was one of those players who really bounced, on the re bounced around the league a lot, so, you know, it doesn't surprise me that he um, is not with the team right now, he might get re-signed. For like a for like a one year seven hundred k contract maybe but I'm not, I'm not exactly sure you know Brian Boyle, great guy I love I love watching him as a younger person. Number five is Blake Coleman and this will play a role in a lot of this. Uh, Tampa Bay with the Tampa Bay Lightning I enjoyed Blake Coleman with the with the Tampa Bay Lightning, and I also enjoyed him with the Devils a lot. So when he went to the Tampa Bay Lightning, which I like more than the Devils, um, that's not 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 any offense to De to Devils fans. Um, I was like, okay, so Blake Coleman heading off to the, heading off to the, heading off to the Lightning in a, in a good trade, in fact. Um, I think the Devils and the Lightning won that trade. Um, I reviewed the trade, I think I reviewed the trade on this YouTube channel. But, um, it was a, it was a very, it was a win-win for both teams when you, when you look at it right now. Uh, number four is Will Butcher. Uh, Will Butcher was a very, uh, solid, he's a very solid young guy, very enjoyable to watch, very noticeable on the ice. Definitely, he was probably one of the most, probably one of the most noticeable guys on the entire team. In all honesty, uh, moving into the top three here, I have Pavel Zaka at number three. Uh, Zaka was a very another entertaining guy, a good Russian guy. He, I loved his name as well. By the way, Pavel Zaka. You know, it was always enjoyable collecting his hockey cards or collecting his hockey card when I was a younger younger kid. And you know, he was one of those first guys that I got as a devil. In hockey pass, I was like, "Ooh, Pavel Zaka, that's a cool name." And you know, I started playing. I started watching hockey more. I started seeing how noticeable he was. He was a very fun guy to watch. Uh, number two is Corey Schneider. Corey Schneider, I've liked ever since I became a hockey fan. Um, when I was when I was doing my when I was doing all my research, you know, I was watching highlights of players and stuff. Corey Schneider was one of those guys where when I, when I saw him as a goaltender, I was like, "Whoa! How did he? How could he save that puck? How did he do that?" So yeah, I, I had a very big um, big uh, amount of affection for Corey Schneider, and I, I mean he's technically in the New York Islanders right now, but he was he's gonna be in the top three for a long time, especially with all the guys before him. You know, a lot of these guys are off the team right now. You know, like one, two, three, four of the top ten guys are off the team right now, and uh, so is Corey Schneider. So half of the top tens not even on the team anymore. So you know, I'm still trying to gain fan fandom for a lot of these guys on the team since. I haven't watched a ton of Devils hockey. Uh, Kyle Palmieri is number one. That's really not surprised to anyone. I've liked Kyle, Palmi Kyle Palmieri for a long time. Um, he's probably, you know, he would go on those streaks. I, I always, I always used to watch NHL, NHL um, Network a lot. I don't watch it as much anymore. I'll probably start watching it more during the, when, when we edge towards the regular season. As well as um, this big boy TV over here is going to be getting some new upgrades. So, you know, I'll probably have NHL Network on there as well. So, you know. I see Palmieri go on all these streaks, and like they would discuss a, a lot of Kyle Palmieri a lot, and you know he was a very entertaining player to just like listen to. His highlights were so, I don't know why, but to me his highlights were so satisfying that like I just couldn't stop watching him. It, it's kind of like that with Corey Schneider too, so it's a very close top two there. So yeah, uh, that is my ten favorite New Jersey Devils. If you enjoyed the video, do make sure to like it, the subscribe button. Um, next up is the Montreal Canadiens. I know we have a lot of Montreal Canadiens fans on the channel, so you know. Hope you guys will enjoy that. Thank you guys for the constant support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.